before solving the next question let me teach you something else because this concept of compound ratios which i also taught in ratios class it will help you tremendously well in your preparations in time speed and distance in ratios and in many other topics i proved it in so many other topics also right now see here first let us understand the application of compound ratio suppose for example a is to b is 3 is to 2 b is to c is 4 is to 3 i want to find a is to b is to c i want to find a is to b is to c step number 1 to get the first variable multiply all the first terms 3 into 4 is 12 similarly step number 2 to get the last variable multiply all the last terms 2 into 3 is 6 now my middle variable is missing that middle variable is nothing but b right that is nothing but b this is nothing but a is to b right this is a is to b compare with original a is to b in original a is to b a value is 3 here a value is 12 3 is becoming 12 what is the multiplying factor 3 into 4 is only 12 2 also multiply by the same multiplying factor 4 2 into 4 is 8 first answer is 12 is to 8 is to 6 which can be further simplified one more example for your understanding suppose for example a is to b is 2 is to 3 b is to c is 2 is to 5 c is to d is c is to d is 4 is to 7 i want to find a is to b is to c is to d same logic without any difference in my first example i will use the same application to find the first variable a multiply all the first terms 2 into 2 into 4 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 4 is 16 to find the last variable d multiply all the last terms 3 into 5 is 15 15 into 7 is 105 now the middle two variables b and c are missing right b and c are missing can i say that this is nothing but a is to b compare with original a is to b in original a is to b a value is 2 here a value is 16 2 is becoming 16 multiply by 8 3 also multiply by 8 3 into 8 is 24 this is nothing but b is to c compare with original b is to c in original b is to c b value is 2 but here it is 24 2 is becoming 24 multiply by 12 5 also multiply by 12 5 into 60 5 into 12 is 60 further simplify if you can simplify it i hope the idea is clear sir this is the application or if, sorry this is the concept behind compound ratio where can we use this application in our problem solving that is what we will discuss in the next two minutes of time kindly comment in the live chat if the application is clear sorry if the concept is clear sir we have still not move on, moved on to application part this is the concept on compound ratios i am drafting the question where we can use this beautiful concept of compound ratio and we can solve it listen carefully sir first statement says first statement says a car covers a distance of 4 540 kilometers in 9 hours that means total distance covered by the car is 540 kilometers time taken is 9 hours so speed of car is nothing but 540 divided by 9 it is 60 kilometers per hour right speed of car is 60 kilometers per hour that is the first statement second statement says speed of train is double the speed of a car speed of a train is double the speed of a car that means speed of a train is nothing but two times of speed of a car from this i can write speed of train divided by speed of a car is 2 divided by 1 which is nothing but 2 is to 1 right this is nothing but 2 is to 1 right next read the next statement two third of speed of a train 
is equal to speed of bike. Two third of two third of speed of train is equal to speed of bike. Can I again write this like this, sir? Speed of train is to speed of bus is nothing but this will become reverse. It becomes three by two, which is nothing but three is to two, right? Which is nothing but three is to two. Now listen carefully, sir. Can I write it like this? Speed of train is to speed of bus. If I reverse this ratio, if I reverse this ratio, speed of car is to speed of train. It is one is to two. Speed of train is to speed of bus. It is nothing but three is to two. That means, can I simplify by using compound ratio? Speed of train is to speed of speed of car is to speed of train is to speed of bus. To get the first variable, multiply all the first terms. One into three is three. To get the last variable, multiply all the last terms. Two into two is four. Middle variable is missing. This is nothing but compare with original original ratio of first and second. Speed of train is to speed of bus. Originally it is three. Here originally it is one. Here it is three. One is becoming three multiply by three. Two also multiply by three. Two into three is six. Right? Two into three is six. But we just now calculated that speed of car is not. What is that? Three kilometers per hour according to ratio. But according to question, it is sixty kilometers per hour. Three is becoming sixty. Multiply by twenty. Six also multiply by twenty. One twenty. Four also multiply by twenty. It is eighty. We got the all the distances, right? All the speeds, in fact. What is the question, sir? Your question is how much distance will the bike cover in five hours? How much distance will the bike cover in five hours? Speed of bike is nothing but eighty kilometers per hour. The meaning of eighty kilometers per hour is in one hour he will cover eighty kilometers. In one hour it is eighty kilometers to cover in five hours he will cover eighty into five. Four hundred kilometers should be the answer for this question. A very very beautiful application of compound ratios can be used to simplify our problem to a very easy manner. Now this is one of the method which I solved it. You need not use this method also. In fact, in this question, then why did you use it, sir? I used it to show that it can be applied by using compound ratio. But I did not say that you should use that method itself. You decide which is the best method for you, right? Ultimately, you are the person who will face the battle. You decide which is the best method for you. Now, it says that a car covers a distance of 540 kilometers in nine hours. So, speed of a car is nothing but. 60 kilometers per hour. Right? Speed of car is nothing but 60 kilometers per hour. Second statement is speed of a train is double the speed of a car. That means the speed of a train is two times of 60, which is 120 kilometers per hour. The same 120 is what I got here also. Right? Same 120. Next is two third the speed of a train. Two third. Two third the speed of a train. Speed of train is 120 is equal to speed of a bike. Speed of a bike is it is nothing but forty into two eighty kilometers per hour. In fact, you will get this very very straightforward in this question. I just used compound ratio application for you to understand how you can apply it. Because one of the very very important concept is nothing but compound ratio, which we have applied in multiple. Topics to simplify our problem to a greater extent. In fact, in time, speed, and distance also, when we discuss linear races, we will again apply this beautiful concept of compound ratio to get our answers in a very very easy format. Ragav. Car covers 540 kilometers. That is the distance. Time is nine hours. So speed of car is 60 kilometers per hour. I got this explanation, Raghav. Right? Speed of car is 60 kilometers per hour. Now let me explain you method two. Second statement is speed of train is double the speed of car. Speed of car is 60, Raghav. So speed of train will be two times of 60, 120. Third statement is. Third statement is two third of speed of train is equal to speed of bike. 
टू थर्ड आफ स्पीड आफ ट्रैन इज वन ट्वेंटी दिस इज ईक्वल टू स्पीड आफ बैक स्पीड आफ बैक यू विल गेट इट ऐज एटी वन अवर् इट ईज एटी फाइव अवर्स इट ईज फोर हंड्रेड ओवर either apply method 1 or apply method 2 but do not apply your methodology or textbook methodology of problem solving by using x and y idea should be very very clear sir same logic i'll implement no change in the approach average speed of car is 9 by 5 times average speed of bus speed of car is 9 by 5 times speed of bus that means speed of car divided by speed of bus is nothing but 9 by 5 which is nothing but 9 is to 5 right which is nothing but 9 is to 5 second statement is a tractor covers 575 kilometers in 23 hours there is a tractor speed of tractor is total distance it covered is 575 total time taken is 23 hours 575 divided by 23 is 25 kilometers per hour speed of tractor is known as 25 kilometers per hour how much distance will the car cover in 4 hours how much distance will the car cover in 4 hours if the speed of bus is twice the speed of tractor that means speed of bus speed of bus is two times the speed of a tractor they are saying that speed of a tractor sorry speed of a bus is two times the speed of tractor speed of tractor is 25 so speed of bus will be two times of 25 which is 50 according to ratio it is 5 according to the question it is 50 5 is becoming 50 multiply by 10 9 also multiply by 10 9 into 10 is 90 that means the speed of car is 90 kilometers per hour how much distance will car cover in 4 hours in 1 hour it will cover 90 in 4 hours it will cover 4 into 90 360 kilometers should be the answer very easy if you use this methodology sir 360 km is the answer in fact you can also apply compound ratio application to solve this see sir my role is to teach you multiple directions or multiple methods you pick up the direction which you are comfortable i will never say use method 1 or method 2 i will say these are the two methods which are beautiful you pick up the method speed of car is 9 by 5 times the speed of bus speed of car is to speed of bus is 9 is to 5 this is the first statement tractor covers 575 km in 23 hours speed of a tractor is nothing but 575 divided by 23 which is nothing but 25 km per hour right this is my second statement speed of how much distance will car cover in 4 hours if speed of bus is twice the speed of a tractor now see here in my previous case i wrote, wrote like this speed of bus is twice the speed of a tractor so it is 50 i wrote like this instead of doing like this speed of bus is twice the speed of a tractor speed of bus is to speed of tractor is 2 is to 1 apply compound ratio however the way you want to do it you will get the same answer as long as your calculation is right that means speed of car is to speed of bus is to speed of a tractor first variable is first multiples 9 into 2 is 18 last variable is last value multiply 5 into 1 is 5 middle is missing this is first and second compare with original first and second here it is 9 here it is 18 multiply by 2 5 also multiply by 2 5 into 2 is 10 according to the ratio speed of a tractor is 5 km per hour question says it is 25 km per hour 5 is becoming 25 multiply by 5 10 also multiply by 5 18 also multiply by 5 these are the values which you got in your previous method also no change in approach sir whichever method you want you use it a beautiful application is the application of compound ratio that i am telling you damn good you can solve the questions if you know this concept one hour it is 90 kilometers in speed of car in one hour 90 in four hours it is 360 
both will definitely give you the same value the same answer as long as you are taken you are taking care of your calculations part